The first time I heard about this show was when I was auditioning for Minor. Uh, of course, I didn't get that role, but I think that opportunity led to me talking to Jenny and Sasha about my adoption. They got super excited because they're like, oh, you know, this is going to be great. Um, we're going to have someone who's like actually adopted to come in and play the role. And here we are. I am your son. When I first read it, it was like the thoughts that I'd had about it actually happening in real life and then seeing it on a page that doesn't happen often like art imitates life and and life imitates art so it, being able to perform that scene somewhat cathartic i grew up happy i was adopted by amazing people probably say stuff like that word for word you know, if I ever met her, like I did, I grew up really happy and um, I really cherished every moment of my childhood. Why would you think I'm your mother? A few years ago, I did one of those ancestry tests. I've done ancestry tests. Um, I've tried to track down a whole bunch of things. I tried to track down some names, but the hard thing is, is that my, my last name isn't, on my birth certificate is my real last name. So uh, that's also difficult. There's a few like DNA tests you can do, but you have to be in Korea. And to be quite honest, I got a little bit of cold feet when I was there, just cause I was, you know, I was on a Netflix show and I was just like, ah, I don't want to burden myself with that. Lee doesn't know. If I was to go and find her, I wouldn't want it to be, to go into the conversation being scared of the rejection. Yeah, I do think I'm at that point where I've grown enough as a person to be able to confront that part of myself and not let it destroy me and eat me. Would that be like them not wanting um, contact or a relationship after or um, their initial response? Like, yeah, what does rejection mean? I don't know what trauma I bring in a sense of I wouldn't want to burden her with a memory of something that maybe she has regretted for her whole life. Because sometimes the healthiest thing is distance and to to move on you know like most things that are in passing moving on is the only way to cope if i ever met her and she didn't want to be a part of my life i feel like i'd want to be comfortable with that before i went and saw her but in saying that you know if she does want to be a part of my life and wants to you know reconnect and like she can come to australia and i can come to korea and maybe we can just be pen pals or, or stuff like that that's also really I'm really down for that too. A funny story, the entire scene I thought was completely unusable because we were right across the Han River and there was this bloody train that kept going by every like two minutes. Yunjin and I would have to just stop and be like, yep, this is very emotional, but we're just gonna wait for this train to go by and back into the scene.